Wayne Hanna is an extraordinary example of what can be accomplished when science and service meet. Since beginning his career as a turf grass scientist in 1971, Hanna has made an incredible impact on the forage, grain, and turf grass industries. I got the job of my dreams without ever applying for it or interviewing for it. So I felt like it was meant to be that I'll be here. So that's, I spent my career here. The economic and social impact of his release of new outstanding grasses for forage, golf greens, golf course fairways, athletic fields, parks, and homes is immeasurable. Uh, it was the perfect position, uh, in my opinion. So I didn't even apply here. It wasn't an opening here. And um, I had an offers to go a number of different places and went to the University of Florida and, uh, in April 1st of 1970. And then, uh, well, September sometime on a Friday evening, we bought a house in Gainesville, Florida, closed it. Monday evening, Dr. Burton from here called me and said, uh, Wayne, do you, uh, Gerald decided to go to Washington. Do you want to come to Tifton? And I said, let me think about it. But the answer is yes. Hannah was born in Texas in 1943 on a diversified family farm. He attended Texas A&M to pursue a degree in agricultural teaching, but was inspired by a professor to consider the research. And so uh, I, was, I had an offer to go to a business school in Seguin, Texas, had a, a $500 scholarship. And my ag teacher said, you going to Texas A&M? And I said, Mr. Kiner, I don't have any money. He said, you're going to Texas A&M. Hannah's numerous turf grass innovations have shown to be true examples of the excellence of his work and research. The performance of TIF Sport for golf fairways, athletic fields and landscaping, and TIF Eagle on golf greens across the southern U.S. combined with the research data proved the superiority of these two cultivars. Actually, the first month of graduate school, I made a discovery and published in science. Uh, most people... Uh, dream of publishing in science. I, I, I made a discovery the first month of graduate school and I published in science. Uh, and uh, of course we've continued that work with Dr. Peggy with Isaac Aikens till this day. Uh, I'm trying to clone, a, clone that gene which is a very difficult problem. But hopefully Barbara says that I can't completely retire till we solve that problem so I'm trying to move it along as quickly as we can. Hannah's 600 plus research publications, release of 12 turf and forage cultivars, and 37 parental or germplasm lines have brought significant recognition to Georgia. Under Hannah's direction, the Forage and Turf Research Unit operated efficiently, economically, and productively. His advice is frequently sought locally, regionally, and internationally. You know, I've traveled around the world, uh, quite a few countries, and I've seen a lot of research facilities, and I've had offers to go to different places, but there's not a place in the world that I'd rather be doing the research that we're doing than here at Tifton, Georgia, with the University of Georgia. Uh, it's a wonderful place to work. Uh, the administrators, uh, the colleagues, uh, support staff have just been tremendous. Through the years, Hannah's work has received numerous accolades. Some of his more recent acknowledgments include Inventor of the Year from the University of Georgia Research Foundation, C. Reed Funk Achievement Award from the National Turfgrass Breeders Association, Distinguished Service Award from the Georgia Crop Improvement Association, and the Turfgrass Science Award from the Crop Science Society of America. I've been pretty successful here in, in Georgia. Uh, but it's, it's the one thing that I, that, uh, I, I think about often uh, is why I have been successful is that uh, I'm married to Barbara. Uh, I have the best wife in this country. Uh, there may be some as good, but there are none any better. Beyond his work and research, Hannah has served selflessly within his community. He and his wife Barbara lead and participate in lay witness missions in Georgia and throughout the Southeast. I've always had the philosophy, taxpayer is, is supporting me, and I'm going to give the taxpayer as much for their money as, you, as I can. My daddy always uh, told me, one, the, one of the best things he told me was, uh, as, a, as a kid, he said, you always do more for your employer than they expect of you. And that's what's been my philosophy over the years. And uh, it has worked.